and we're back with another video here. Uh, this video, of course, is about today's lesson, which was a volume. Now, I have the homework from yesterday, and I have my three shapes here. I have a square pyramid, a triangular prism, and a, a rectangular prism. Uh, the surface area, remember, is the area of all the faces combined. Um, and the volume, though, today's lesson, what we learned was the volume was the area of the base shape. So you can see here, my base shape is the shape of the core shape, the bottom. That's the base shape there. And then the volume is how many times do I have that base shape inside my overall shape? So I have this one here. You can see on the side here, I have it one time. And that's the, the one layer there. So I have the bottom one time, and then I actually have it, well, not one, but two times. So I actually have the base two times. And that's where it comes, the area of my base, and I multiply it by the height, because my height is how many times I have that base shape in my overall shape. So let's check this out. For this rectangular prism, I have to find the area of my base shape. My base shape. And my base shape is a rectangle. Well, what is the dimensions of this rectangle? I have a six by seven rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is, of course, length times width. Length and width in this uh, example here is nine centimeters times seven centimeters. Nine times seven, nine times seven, of course, is 63 and centimeters squared. Now again, remember it's centimeters squared because I'm finding the area, the number of squares inside that 2D shape. Um, but I'm not done yet. To find the volume, I have to know, well, this is that base shape, that base square here is 63. Well, how many times do I have that 63? I have it one time, two times. So I actually have the area, I have to multiply it by the height, the height here, which is two. So 63 times two, or it's not just two, sorry, it's two centimeters. Um, 63 times two, I'm gonna have 126. And now it's going to change to centimeters cubed. Uh, if you know your expressions, or sorry, exponents, um, I have centimeters squared times centimeters, which is centimeters cubed. Or we can think about it inside this shape here. Well, I'm actually counting before just the bottom was squares, but now I'm counting, if I can draw, remember 20 years of art school, here we go. Um, ooh, that's not working here. Here, let me grab one over here. So what I'm actually counting inside my square or inside my prism is I'm counting this. Um, let's see if I can do it. I'm counting those cubes inside my prism, right? So how many of those cubes inside this prism? It is 126 cubes. I know that because I have 63 on the bottom, but I only have 63 one time, I have 63 two times, which is the area times the height, area of the base times the height. Right. Next video, we do the same thing, but instead of a uh, rectangular prism, we're gonna be looking at the triangular prism.